Hi guys, good evening everyone. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another session on the upcoming RBI Grade B examination. So when you start with preparation of an extensive examination like RBI, there is a sequence of events, there's a sequence of things that you have to follow. The first one is understanding the syllabus. We've already talked about the syllabus. We will be talking about the syllabus once again when the official notification on the website is released. The second is you discuss and understand the cutoff. And then you try and understand the previous year papers. This is all done before starting with the actual preparation. If you've already done it in the past, very well. You don't have to do it again. Or you can just watch the video again so that uh, you understand some new things and you can keep preparing. If you've not done these things in the past, then start doing it immediately. Today, we are going to focus on the cutoff. Aaj hum log focus karenge cutoff ke upar. Exactly what do we derive from the cutoff of RBI? Previous cutoff jo bhi rahi hai, what can be the analysis driven from that or from those cutoffs? And what can we take home? What knowledge, what information can we, can we take home so that we can prepare better, we can enhance our chances of being successful. So, wo sari cheezo pe aaj hum focus karenge. Let us start with our session. Okay, before that, uh, an information, quick information about the crash course which has been released for the upcoming RBA examination. The timetable for the same, the study plan for the same has already been discussed over YouTube. Agar aapne nahi dekha hai, to dekh sakte ho. It's an extensive 60 days plus 30 days plan, wherein for the first 60 days, we'll be preparing students specifically for phase one plus phase two current affairs. We are very targeted on our approach with respect to the examination. And for the next 30 days, we'll be focusing completely on phase two. Usme bohat extensive, bohat zyada exhaustive revision sessions honge. You have to be mentally ready for that. Agar aap mentally ready ho, aap mein utna commitment hai, aap mein utna dedication hai, only then please come to my course. Otherwise, please don't. You will be wasting your money. Agar aap bas time pass karne ke liye kar rahe ho, you are an aspirant and not an achiever. Mein apne ek previous session mein difference discuss kar, kar chuka hoon. This is based upon Niti Aayog report, which has differentiated between an aspirant and an achiever. So if you think that you are or you can be called an achiever, you have it in you. Uh, the seriousness, the dedication, the commitment, clear the examination to be successful, then you can be called an achiever. If you're just taking the examination for the sake of taking the examination, then please don't come to us. We are not for those kind of students who, who are not serious enough. Agar aapki seriousness banti hai, then you're most welcome. Uh, hum apna pura effort lagayenge. You also have to put in your complete effort towards the examination. Okay. We will be, as I said, focusing completely on phase one plus phase two current affairs at this point of time. If you can cover more, you're most welcome. You can cover more as well. I'll be providing you with everything so that you can prepare more, more even now. And after phase one, immediately after phase one, we'll be starting with our revision sessions for phase two. Okay. Usme answer writing, essay writing, everything will be included. Okay. A new application has been launched. Uh, I would recommend everyone that you upgrade the old application or download the new application. It's available on Google Play Store as of now. Uh, it has all the information, uh, whatever I'm going to explain now, cutoffs, ho gai, uh, previous year papers, ho gai, daily GK and quizzes of PIB and RBA 247, strategies of toppers, all the past year papers, as I said, monthly GK, that is Spotlight, all the live video sessions, live sessions that are being held on YouTube, they're directly connected with the app. So you can get your notifications on the app itself and all the exam updates are also provided there instantly. So it's going to be very, very helpful. It's very decluttered. It has taken us a long time to create something, you know, very clean and very decluttered. And so I would recommend that you can use it. Okay. Jitna bhi update hota hai with respect to our sessions, all of those are provided on Telegram group as well as channel. You can find the links in the description below. Let us start with the trend. Sabse pehle trend se start karte hai. Exactly hum, what analysis can we take forward from the RBI previous year cutoffs? Okay, na? 
टाइटल वगैरह ट्रेंड एनालिसिस डाला हुआ है लेट मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन टू यू वॉट कैन बी गैदर फ्रॉम दीज टाइम अब हम 2017 से अगर स्टार्ट करें वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम 2017, दिस इज 2017, आई होप यू कैन सी दिस कलर यस 18, 19 एंड 2021, 2020 एग्जामिनेशन वाज नॉट हेल्ड 2021 में कंबाइंड एग्जाम हुआ था फॉर 2020 एंड 2021, एंड नाउ वी आर इन 2022। तो आप देखो ट्रेंड कहाँ पे मैच कर रहा है और कहाँ पे मैच कर नहीं कर रहा है लेट मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन टू यू पहले यहाँ पर आते हैं दिस इज फेज टू एंड आफ्टर फेज टू दैट इज आफ्टर योर इंटरव्यू फाइनल कट ऑफ ये दो कट ऑफ हैं फाइनल कट ऑफ इज एट द टॉप एंड बिलो दैट वी हैव फेज टू कट ऑफ आप देख सकते हो दे ऑलमोस्ट इन सिंक विद ईच अदर द गैप इंक्रीज इज हेयर वाई डज द गैप इंक्रीज हेयर सडनली दिस गोज डाउन एंड दिस गोज अप वाई डिड दिस हैपन बिकॉज द वेटेज ऑफ इंटरव्यू इंक्रीज फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी फाइव पहले 50 था अभी इंक्रीज होके ये 75 हो गया क्योंकि वेटेज बढ़ गया हमारा इंटरव्यू का दैट इज वाई द गैप हैज इंक्रीज ओके कंबाइंड विद दिस बिकॉज वी हैव अ डिस्क्रिप्टिव पेपर आंसर राइटिंग हमारा था यहाँ पर बिफोर 2021 वी यूज टू हैव ओनली ऑब्जेक्टिव इन फेज टू प्लस इंग्लिश एसे राइटिंग इसलिए हमारा कट ऑफ थोड़ा नीचे गया कट ऑफ वेंट डाउन अ लिटिल बिकॉज ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्टिव पेपर इट्स हार्ड टू स्कोर ऑन डिस्क्रिप्टिव बट ओवरऑल The gap is not very high, which means that RBI is giving scores in descriptive, in alignment with the previous methodology of scoring in objective. Objective में क्या रहता था? Around uh, 60 to 70 percent के आसपास रहता था. 60 to 70 के बीच में the cutoff it has remained almost the same. मतलब अगर आपका आंसर अच्छा है, तो आपको 60 to 70 percent के बीच में मिल रहे हैं नंबर. Okay? अगर आपका आंसर बहुत अच्छा है, if it's very good. People are getting as high as 80 percent as well. Utna bhi score aa raha hai. Okay, so it's not that in descriptive or in answer writing they're not giving good score. Okay, let's come back a little bit and try and understand. In 2017, the cutoff in phase one was 78. It immediately increased to 105 and then 122. Why? Because in 2018 and 2019 the papers were super easy. So the banking aspirants, other kinds of aspirants. were probably not very serious and who were taking the examination just as a passing who be clear kar gaye because the examination was easier and they were good at average level maths and reading but as soon as the level of examination became difficult again in 2021 there was a committee which sat in 2020 and thought about the quality took a feedback on the quality of students being selected and they said there are some problems okay the quality of writing among students is not very good the aptitude level or their smartness is not as per our demand so let's increase the level of the examination so they suddenly changed the pattern in phase 2 and in phase 1 piped the level of the examination almost to the level of cat not completely then almost very near to the level of cat and we suddenly saw a reduction a fall in the cut off what is going to happen what is expected in the next year It means in the com in in the coming examination 2022. 2022 में क्या expectation है क्या होने वाला है? According to us, the level of the examination is either going to remain the same or will increase a little bit. थोड़ा सा ऊपर जा सकता है. नीचे नहीं जाएगा. It is not expected to go down. So be prepared for that. The reason is that the committee sits every three to four years. it has it has decided something last year it's going to stick to it at least for the next two more years and see how uh, the quality of uh, selected students varies uh, does it increase does it improve does it go down etc etc so 2022 the level is expected to remain the same or increase a little bit number 1 what about the cut off the cut off should range between 70 to 80 even if the level is the same If it increases, it might go down further. Nobody knows about that. But if it stays the same, it will remain between seventy to eighty. Eighty के ऊपर थोड़ा बहुत भी जा सकती है. Why? Because the students are better prepared. Okay, automatically students ज़्यादा अच्छे से prepare होते हैं, तो cut off ऊपर जाती है. This is based upon the assumption that the level stays almost the same or increases by a notch. Even then, even if it increases, the cut off might also increase because students are better prepared. If uh, they were in a shock. Uh, last year when they saw the paper that is not going to happen this year 
and so automatically 10 to 15 marks might increase in the cutoff okay in any scenario in phase one your objective is not to score 66.75 or even 70 your target should be to score 100 out of 200 aapka target 50 percent hona hi hona hai in your mocks this has to be your minimum target when it comes to quant reasoning and english when it comes to ga target 80 to 90 percent aap apna target high nahi rakhoge to achievement aapka utna hi kam jayega target is 67 rakhoge ya 70 rakhoge to 50 number aayenge okay that is how humans work that is how our brains work if you target 100 then, then you might uh, end up achieving 90 scoring 90 or 85 somewhere around that if you target somewhere around 120 then you might end up scoring 100 so phase one ko please lightly mat lo please take it seriously don't assume ki wo to qualifying hai to main nikali lunga fodi dunga journal awareness is going to play a major role that is why i am saying consistently in my study plan also i have said that focus on phase one ga plus phase two current both finance current and PIB current affairs simultaneously. Government schemes, jitni bhi cheeze hai, economic survey, etc, etc, cover it before phase one. Okay, enough of that. Let's come back. I have told you what is expected in phase one. Mein. Let's come to phase two and try and understand it better and then we'll move on with the individual cutoffs. Okay. In uh, 2017, it was 196, then 201, then 193, then 187. It is lying very close to 60 to 70 percent. However, there is a big however here. Even if you score 187, aapka selection nahi hoga, final result mein naam nahi aega. Why? Because the gap is too much. Even here, the gap is too high. 38 minus 193 kitna hoga. 38 plus 7, 45. If you score 45 in interview and you are here, only then you will just clear the cutoff, which is a very difficult score. Getting 45 is like uh, one in a million chance or to say one in a 600. If you look at it, you get 45 or 46. Okay. So scoring that high is a very difficult task. I don't want you to rely on that kind of a score. So what is a better strategy? Try to score 210 in phase two, which means 70%. In all your tests, in all your descriptive objective whatever your target has to be 70 percent ki itna score mere ko lana hai because you're writing mocks you have to try and target higher so i would recommend 75 percent target karo tab ja ke exam mein 70 leke aoge i hope that makes sense in the interview we have seen that the weightage of the interview has increased yahan pe aap dekh sakte ho weightage bahut zyada bada diya interview ka that is why the gap has increased 50 plus 20 uh, 50 plus 50 plus 13, 65. 65 marks ka gap hai, which is much more with respect to the older examination, older pattern. So we would recommend that you try to try to score more here and not to take your interview lightly. Interview ka is bar hum log zada comprehensive ek program chalayenge, which is not going to be only a mock test program. It's going to be a more comprehensive program, which we will Aapko uh, bohat sari cheeze other than mocks I will be providing you so that you are more exhaustively prepared for the interview. I'm not just taking your mock, I'm also preparing you uh, thoroughly for the interview. I'm trying to change and refine your personality. Okay, we are going to have that in the interviews as well this time because we are seeing the interview ka weightage bhi bada hai aur interview ki importance bhi bada hai. Okay, I hope you have understood this. In phase two, as I said, target 75, then you will be somewhere near 70. 210, if you will come here, in any year ke exam, mein, it will be super, super easy for you to clear the examination. Okay, let's move forward. Let's try and have a detailed understanding of different years. So this is for 2021. If we have a look at 2021 cutoff of phase one, and 2021 cutoff of phase one, you will see that the overall cutoff went down. Okay. Cutoff was very low due to unexpected and difficult paper. We've already discussed this. We expect, I expect 2022 exam to be of the same level or a notch higher. When you reason, and cutoff might go up in 2022. 
So this might be somewhere between 70 to 80 if the level stays the same or increases a little, might also touch 90s. Okay. Let's move forward. This is with respect to 2021. If we come to phase two, cutoff went down due to descriptive papers because it was held for the first time. It is expected to go up. It might be somewhere in the range of 195 to 205 this year. It can go up. If the level remains the same, and then phase two ke baad final interview mein automatically stakes will increase. Okay. Aim for 210 if you want to be an achiever. I have already told you the difference between an achiever and an aspirant. If you want to be an achiever, then aim for at least 70% in your mocks, in your practice papers, everything that you used to practice, practice for your exam. Final cutoff was 252.25. Marks as high as 72 and as low as 2 were being awarded last year. You have to take your interview very seriously. Immediately after your phase 2, you have to start preparing for your interview. Jin students ke achche number aate hain, wo wohi hote hain who take their interviews very seriously and start their preparations immediately after phase 2. If you feel that you can get high scores without any preparation after the result, then you are a little mistaken then either you are very good at in handling interviews or you are just uh, being overconfident as well as lazy. Okay. Weightage of interview has been iked to 75 from 50. The objective is to increase the importance of interviews to see how good or bad a student is firsthand in the interview itself. So they're probably trying to rely more on the interview thinking that the interview panel has a better I at identifying which student is better, which student is not so good. So they have given them more weightage, more marks. Okay. And that is going to stay the same. No change is expected. 2019, if you come to the cutoff was very high. The reason was very simple. The paper was expected simple on the same lines as uh, 2018. And that is why the cutoff went up. Expected an easy paper, which resulted in high cutoff. The same is not going to happen this year. In, 28, in 2019, in phase two, the cutoff again was 193.75. You needed 210 to clear the final cutoff. So your target again should not be 193, should be 210 plus. Okay. That never changes. The final cutoff was 238. So you needed 210 plus 35, that is 70% in the interview out of 50, to be safe. So, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this, and you have to do 35-70%, which is the average score for a good student. You have to do this if you wanted to be safe, otherwise, you would be in that red spot where you might be selected, might not be selected. Okay. 2018 19, 105.75, that was the cutoff for phase 1. For phase 2, it was 201.25, very, very high. Again, you have to do this number chahiye, if you want to be safe. The final cutoff was 248, very high. Difference dekh rahe ho? 201 and 248, 47 marks ka difference hai. Matlab, jiske 201 aaye, uska to selection hona hi nahi hona tha. Jiske 201 se 20 plus aaye, uske phir bhi chances hain selection hone ke. Okay? And that has to be the objective. Isi liye unhi lines mein mein aapki preparation karmaunga. Prelims mein the cutoff was low. Why? Because the paper used to be difficult. 17, 18 aur usse pehle, Paper difficult hota tha, the cutoff used to be lower. Isse pehle year mein, I think it, it was 91, if I'm not wrong. So cutoff kam hi jati thi, kyunki paper difficult hota tha. But in phase 2, uh, do bhi difficulty level ho, cutoff niche nahi jati thi, cutoff used to stay in the same arena. Again, here 196 hai, aur yahan pe 245 hai. Deko same gap hai almost, aur same type ke cutoff aapki nikal rahi. Okay. So, I think cut off mein itna hi hai, aapko isse zyada samajhne ki zorot nahi hai, jo mainne giveaways dene the, wo mainne de diye, I've already told you what to do, what to expect, and how to prepare, what to target, okay? That is all what you can take from the cut off of any examination, that is the objective of a cut off, to help you understand what should be my minimum target, not the maximum target, hamesha minimum target banana hota hai ki bhai, itne to mere ko lane hi lane hai, agar exam clear karna hai, 75 se kam aare hai, Matlab, something is wrong. I have to change my strategy. I have to study harder. I have to stop making silly mistakes. I have to identify that I am doing what I am doing. 
आइडेंटिफाई एंड देन करेक्ट दैट मिस्टेक दैट हैज टू बी ओके चलिए इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट्स एनी क्वेश्चन एनी थिंग एट ऑल यू कैन रीच आउट टू मी वाई आर दी कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल मी ऑन दिस नंबर वी आर रिसीविंग अ लॉड ऑफ कॉल्स बट वी आर ट्राइंग टू एंटरटेन एंड पिकअप एंड आंसर एज मेनी क्वेरीज एज पॉसिबल डबल नाइन डबल नाइन फोर डबल सिक्स डबल टू फाइव द ई मेल आई डी इज इन्फो एट द रेट अनुचिंदल डॉट इन इन केस यू आर कमिंग हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम द नेम ऑफ द वेबसाइट इज अनुचिंदल डॉट इन वहाँ पर जाके क्रैश कोर्स भी देख सकते हो एंड वट एवर क्वेरीज वट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन यू नीड एवरी थिंग इज अवेलेबल ऑन द वेबसाइट एज वेल एज ऑन द ऐप वहाँ पर आपको सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन सारी क्वेश्चन के आंसर्स मिल जाएंगे ठीक है चलिए ऑल द बेस्ट गाइज टेक केयर बाय जय हिंद